Okay, I have a new deck. I got it yesterday, and I wanted to do a, a talk about this deck. I um, It's called... Let's see if I get everything in the picture here. Oh, I got a lot of room over here. I'll put my coffee there. Um, it's called The Influence of Angels. Comes in a nice box, beautiful box. It's got the thumb holes to close it, to close and open it. And it's by U.S. Games. It's by uh, the Boginski sisters. Uh, Jody is the the graphic artist. And then Karen helps with a lot of the historical information and religious information in the book. Now, it is an angel book, but it has so much more than uh, angels. There are angels in the book. There's no question. There's an angel on every page. But uh, it's so much more than uh, just an angel's book. The feel itself, it's a U.S. Games, it's very much like the, the deck I've been using to do political readings, Cat Black's Golden Tarot. You can see from the gilding, look at how gold it is, um, the card stock is exactly the same, exact same card stock, uh, very similar in design. Uh, U.S. Games must have done the Cat Black. I, it's, it's very similar. Uh, the pictures are... I'm going to show you. I'm just going to go through some of the pictures. Um, there, it's, it's collage deck to some ex extent, uh, art deck to some extent. Very Rider weight. The the court cards are all of people, so when you read the book, you'll find out about like who this person is. All the car, all the court cards are uh, of. of people that lived in history. I'm going to, go, I'm going to sh talk about this one. The, um, the majors all have an angel uh, attached to them. There is an angel they talk about in the book. And they all have wings. So all the majors have wings in them. Now, oddly, does this same one have the wings in it? Oh yeah, the wings are just skinny wings. So all the majors have wings in them. Uh, the devil card has wings in that as well. And as I said, they talk about the, the uh, angel that's associated with that, with that card. So I'm just giving you a look of, that's a great eight of wands. Um, now the deck is Rider Waite Smith. So if you read Rider Waite Smith, this is perfect. This is no, you know, you'll be able to uh, read this deck without a problem. And it is it has information about angels as well. If you want to learn about angels, the miners have the angels in little little angel energies, little angel spirits in them, like. So they have the little angels on all the cards. Again, these are famous paintings of. And whoever it's the painting of, that's, that's the narrative. So these are all uh, talked about. All these people are real people in, in real life, or in the past. Um, so that is the deck, pretty much. I just kind of go through it a little bit. How pretty is that? That's beautiful, the world card. They're a little sticky, but I'm sure that will, won't be sticky. If you, if you once you use them. So that's the deck. Now, the other thing I want to talk about, I just want to give you a little bit more information. Now, it comes with a book. It's 184 pages, I believe. Yeah. And it's quite a nice little book. Now, it has um, every... Let's, let's look at this card here, the emperor. Now, this emperor is an angel. So we're going to we're going to look at the emperor and we're going to look at the uh, posting in the book. Okay, now the angel is Metatron. Metatron is said to be the highest ranking angel in heaven, second only to God in the strength in strength and wisdom. On the card, Metatron poses as an earthly ruler. Okay, so that is the angel Metatron. I don't know angels, so I'm just like. Then it goes into um, the symbol, symbi symbology in the card. 
So you have your, your scepter and you have your orb with the key and it talks about that. Uh, it talks about the ram's head. Ram's head? On the top, I guess. No, I'm not sure where the ram's head is. The ram's he, ram head. Oh, ram head is right there in the center. And the crown talks about um, the sim symbology in the card. Then it talks about the direct meaning, and this is the emperor, and the key words are father figure, making decisions, being in charge, having logical rules and guidelines, maintaining structure and giving order to a situation. Gives a shadow meaning. And then with the majors, and I don't think they do them with the minors. No, they do them with all of them. It has the angelic message. So there's also an angel uh, message. And it says here, may you always have faith in your decisions without ignoring ideas that are contrary to your own. Although you may be used to calling the shots, always try to keep an open heart and mind. So that is a nice little thing about the angelic message. So the cards have a lot, the book has a lot of information. It talks about the angel, it talks about the symbols, it talks about um, the, the meanings, the traditional key words for the meanings, and then it has an angel, angelic message, which is really nice. Now let's look at this card here. Now these, this is a court card. A court card has a little bit different information. The Queen of Cups. Uh, Queen of Cups. This is, now with the Queen of Cups, they, it gives you the name of the person on, that's paint, the painting of the person when they were born. Now this is, it has a little uh, one word, one sentence. Queens are concerned with nurturing and the woman's role in society. And then who is this? This is Abigail Adams. This is one of our uh, first ladies born in 1744 and died in 1818. Abigail Adams is one of the most admired figures from American history. It goes into a long thing about uh, Abigail Adams. She was a confidant and advisor to her husband. They greatly respected and loved one another. Uh, she was the mother of five. She had children, grandchildren, nieces and nephews. She was a strong matriarch. There, I, I'm just, you know, reading the high points. Uh, then again, they talk about the symbols in the card. They talk about the direct meaning and the shadow meaning. And this also has an angelic message. Now, the angelic message is, may the support you give to those you love be appreciated and returned to you in kind. Well, that's very wonderful. So here we have, uh, we have the angels and the majors. They're not, they're not put, they're the actual, um, the majors have the name, you know, the traditional a tarot name but when you look at the book they're all associated with an angel and then here these are all associated with people the court cards with people that lived in the past so you learn about a little about history now the other cool thing about this deck is it comes with besides this 184 page book it comes with these wonderful little cards little cheat cards uh, it talks about the major arcana the minor arcana the suit meanings so the element is associated with cups, and the air with swords, and the earth with pentacles, and the fire with wands. And it gives you little key words for that. And then you get to do the numerology of the cards. So you can look at what the numbers mean, as well as with the court cards. So this is a wonderful little uh, cheat sheet that you can carry around with you that you could use for your pip decks, because it has the numbers and it has the, uh, the elements. So this is great for your pip decks. Now, as I, I looked this deck over last night, I, I was wondering, I was like, this is so much information. You get a, this is packs a punch, this, because you, you have your pip information here. You have your angel information with the cards. You have, your, uh, you have art and who these people are, these uh, court cards with, associated with the art, and they give you their life stories, which then you can incorporate into your readings. You know, not their life stories, but... Uh, how they were in their life. You know, she was a loving person, a, a grandmother, a great aunt, uh, uh, and how she, you know, took care of her family. And, and, and when you see that as, when you see this as Abigail Adams, that just uh, helps you define the Queen of Cups in a, in a much more fuller way than just a keyword or so. Now, the interesting thing about it, too, was in this book, uh, there's a little information about the, the sisters that did this book. Jody Boginski and Karen Boginski. 
uh, Jody is the is the um, art is the graphic artist, and Karen is one who's uh, does the religious and the historical I think information about the book. Um, and it was a collaboration. But the other thing about this that's sort of important and critical is they are tarot readers. They are tarot readers. So that's something to keep in mind. I hope this is all in. in the yeah. So these women are tarot readers as well. A lot of times you have decks. Uh, I've seen some decks. I bought some decks, and I'm sorry, they were not tarot readers. I'm thinking of one particular deck that was an um, indie deck, and it's like, I don't know where this person's coming from because I don't get it. But then it could have been just me. I don't know. But these women are tarot readers as well. So they have the whole thing going on. They have this kind of classic look from Cat Black. Um, it also reminds me a lot of Cat Black's Touchstone uh, Tarot. So it is a it's, it is a historical deck. It's got art, historical art. It doesn't talk too much about the artists, but it does talk about the symbology on each card. And then you have the whole angel thing, which is a very interesting thing that talks a lot about in the book. You got these um, great cards. You got this. Uh, Thing for the uh, pip decks, if, if pip decks uh, interpretation for pips, it's really kind of it kind of hits a lot, ticks a lot of boxes, and it is a, just a beautiful deck. There's no question about it. Just a beautiful, beautiful deck. Rare, uh, Rider Waite Smith deck as well. So a little sticky, but I just got it yesterday. So uh, if you're looking for a deck um, that's sort of classic in some ways, it got a classic um, uh, uh, paintings on it. This would be great. Cat Black, of course, is the one I use, but I will use this. I will use this as well. So this is uh, my quick review of the influence of the Angels Tarot. Uh, I think it's a great buy. You got a lot of you got a lot of stuff going on here. Okay, have a great day.